confirmation. Offside. You called it, Stevie. We were speaking about that before the game, weren't we? I mean, that, that's definitely a side of his game that you could improve. He, he'll be laughing at us if he scores here because he's on the end of a long ball. It's a chance for him, and he's flipped it or tried to over the top of Matthews, who just got fingertips to take the pace off the ball and stop it bouncing into the back of the net from Aberdeen's number nine. Yeah, he's done great. You know, he's gone behind. He's used a wee bit of strength, you know, shoulder to shoulder there with the centre half. He's kind of muscled the shoulder off. It's a simple part. <laughs> Anthony Stewart would ha be happy with that. You know, it's actually a good area. He's helped into a wee bit of strength he's got enough on it and it's just a wee touch for Remy Matthews everything's becoming scrappy you know fans are getting frustrated with St Johnson taking their time the truth is they're very good at it you know they, they make it out like they're sprinting to get the ball they take their time once they're there we just haven't played this second half but I'm sure we will get one more chance this could be it as well it's Duke and Duke scores this time it is going to count for Duke who prods in his 10th goal for the Dons with 16 minutes to go. How important could that be? Listen, uh, you know, for every game I've seen this guy this season, it's probably been the purest game I've seen him have, but he's always a constant threat, you know. He's always, you know, he stands offside. You know, you can't even be offside for a bye kick, so nothing wrong there. Lane Clarkson then gets in behind. Vin Vinny just flicks it to him and it's just a toe punt. Six minutes to go, and he moves within one of top scorer Boyan Miovsky. 